it's beauty, it's colorful, but it's also gritty. That for me makes it real. Like I, I aim for that shit. Like I want some shit to be intentionally slightly sloppy here and there so that you can feel like, yo, this shit feels real. Cause it is. I like it like The minute I heard the song, I was like, I need this. Don't give this to anyone. The Latin community, like, we know. That's like an instant, that's an instant hit. It's crazy how I've worked with Cardi in the past. I remember her when I was doing videos for other artists and Cardi would come in and do background. It's amazing how everything comes full circle. When I first heard the record, the first thing that came to my mind was the movie. It's a funny movie, great movie. It starts off with like this crazy neighborhood uh, action happening in the Bronx, right? You have these kids running by cars, girls pulling up in Jeeps, cell phones, windows. And so I immediately thought of that, like it had to feel like a street video, but also pretty and everything else. For me, I would have loved to have done it in the Bronx, right? And kind of replicate that whole look. But we had to deal with Miami and, um, and I just kind of had to adjust. We went down to this uh, location in Miami called Calle Ocho. Cuban area, a lot of Cuban scenes and everything else. I found this one block that had enough elements in there that I knew could work. And then we came in and kind of dressed it up some more, like we put some more palm trees in there. I needed that ice machine. Growing up in the South Bronx, that was called a piragua. That's a benefit of growing up Latino in the South Bronx and uh, being able to know these things that are culturally important to us. That one hallway scene where she comes out with the yellow dress was the actual entrance to a restaurant. It was just maybe about 30 or 40 feet of this one space we're seeing here. I have to have the camera just capture a certain part of it. Then we go to this pink wall. This is her, her frame, no joke. That's about as much as it was there. And it was just a bunch of fucking, you know, graffiti shit. You know, that's my old tag name there. And post just kind of added all this, you know, all the pink elements to that. This shot here, this is what we call the hero shot because it makes you look bigger than life. It's a move where you come from below and then you come up high, you rise up high. It's almost showcasing the person off for the first time. It's like, here I am, bigger than life. She just, you know, wore this dress. She wanted to flow. She wanted to feel Caribbean in a way, you know? And it hid the fact that she was eight and a half months pregnant. I mean, this was actually shot two weeks prior to the release of the actual video. Cardi is special, man. She's a light switch. When that camera turns on, she's a star. All her movements, her mannerisms, everything was on her own. I didn't have to instruct her much. It was no complaining. No, you know, it's too hot. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm like, I'm hot, I'm pregnant. It was none of that. I wanted Bad Bunny to have that street hood feel. This is a block or two away from where we shot Cardi doing the walk. Everything is one continuous flow with that girl coming across, running, giving him the note. He reads it, and then we start pulling away with him as he starts performing. <laughs> We parked an old school car there, right? We put the old folks back here, um, just hanging out, playing cards, right? Dominoes. And it was just, this moment was just about Bunny on his block. I imagined it and pictured it like a play, almost like the West Side Story, where I kind of wanted everyone just hanging out, chilling, and then all of a sudden, like, this girl gives him the card, right? He looks at it, and he just breaks into this performance. Bad Bunny, to me, is like the, the Latin Little Wayne. He's just, he's an animal, and it's like, I want to see that come out of him. This particular setup was part of Bad Bunny's solo performance. Bad Bunny comes to me, and he's like, can I smoke a hookah on set? We're not doing a world star video, right? I'm like, we're not, this isn't a world star video. Always give the artist or try what the artist wants. DJ Khaled voice, that's a major key. I thought it was hilarious because he just doesn't give a fuck. For Balvin, this was actually a restaurant and it had this Latin feel to it. It had a live band there, so I kind of incorporated that into it. Those were actually the real band who plays there. It was his first time working with me, so I just told him, man, just, just do you, give me that energy. I don't think he was sure or aware of what I was gonna do in the edit. When he got the link to the videos, no changes from Balvin. Like he was like, this needs to go out today. I said I like it like that. 
I wanted Cardi to have a neighborhood feel. I wanted Bad Bunny to have that street hood feel. And then I wanted you to go into Valvin's world and then kind of see this whole club scene. I wanted the viewer to kind of live in all these different spaces as they go along within the video. I would have been devastated if I didn't do this video. Like I was like, I'm Latin, I'm from the Bronx, she's from the Bronx, I've shot Bunny, I haven't shot Balvin. And I was like, it was meant to be. What's his name? Look at Cardi looking amazing, right? Yeah. It's a great, it's a great monitor. I edit like on a old black and white TV. No. <laughs>